What's up, everybody? It's me, Bokusatsu. I am here today to uh, review a non-toku figure. Yay! It's actually a comic book figure. Okay. Today, we're here to review the Medicon Mayfax. What number? What, what, what number is this? Oh, what number is this this time? What, what number is this figure? Oh, number 175. Okay. Uh, May the Nightwing, Mayfax. Well, the Mayfax Nightwing Hush. And uh, oh boy. Now, starter. I have a bias towards Nightwing because Dick Grayson is my all-time second favorite superhero, right next to well, you well, we already know who his father. Oh, keyword his adopted father, but still. And uh, I have a bias toward Nightwing. You can, can Nightwing my favorite. Or <laughs> I say that, but yeah. What I'm trying to say is that I love Nightwing. He's my second favorite superhero next to Batman. And uh, I am a sucker for this this, this design. You got black and blue works so well. Since I love both since both of my favorite colors. And this suit, this this figure describes and. It's now the definitive Nightwing in my collection because the only, the, only, the only other Nightwing I have in my collection is, uh, well, this crappy, this crappy McFarlane one from Gotham Knights. And this figure's trash. Let me show you why. You see, Todd really doesn't know, see, Todd really doesn't know how to do articulation because this figure broke on me. And every time, Every time I try to put him back together, well, he come apart. Just Todd. Oh, for fuck's sake. Todd, for God's sake, my guy. Really? You really... You... Just gonna say, Todd and Far did not know how to make DC figures. Well, well, well that's gonna piss off people. Oh, and the fig... Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's just great. The figure broke. Oh, I'm not really mad about it, to be honest. So let's go and talk about. So let's go and talk about a good DC figure. So the articulation of this guy, pretty good. Although it might have one issue. This leg is super tight. That's annoying. So, if that happens to your copy, just be very gentle. This leg is pretty good. It's a little... It, it, it's tight too, but like not as super tight as this one. And yes, you can pose them. I love these Mayfax figures, because do... I don't think you guys know, but uh, to, today, day two, of SDCC and Mayface reveal a lot of new stuff. A lot of new stuff. <laughs> They're making a Scarecrow, a Riddler, a, train, a, a Spider Man 2099, a Daredevil. They're making a Captain America and a Jean, and Phoenix Jean Grey. Hell yeah. That's awesome. I, I'm buying all that. Well, I'm mostly buying all the DC stuff, but I will be buying that Captain America as well. And I will be showing an image in this review of what I'm talking about when I when I say that name. The back I'm saying is that, yeah, the, the legs are very tight. Well, well, my copy, this leg, this, tight, this leg right here is very tight, so I've got to be, got to be very gentle with that. This leg pretty good. But at the same time, it's also a little bit tight. Which is good because that just proves how self array I guess you could say, these figures are. How, how, how's the articulation though for the ab crunch? This is how far he goes from here to here to here. And yeah, for all he's, overall, he stands pretty well and pretty good. I gotta say, this guy's. This guy's really good because, again, 
Now I make my second favorite superhero, and uh, I've been one. Okay, lately I've been in a DC mood because I have not been watching no Toku shows for a while. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm drained from Toku, so I've been watching like DC cartoon, DC movie. Sometimes read the comics, and uh, yeah, and because well, hot take. I'm more of a DC guy than Marvel guy right now. Cause MCU drained the crap out of me. Boy, this guy looks so full. This guy looks so freaking good, dude. <laughs> Look at this guy. This is Nightwing. This is this is Nightwing. Oh my god. If only McFarlane know how to make good DC figures, then him jerking off to making multiple Batmans. Just saying, cuz I did not like Tom McFarlane's Batman figures. So let's go on to the accessory cut. Oh we had a lot. Where me by that he has a lot. I mean, like he actually has a lot, of, a lot of fit, of accessories. Oh boy, where, where did it start? Okay, well, Riz. <laughs> okay, first off, he came with a wire for his. Uh, he came with a, a wire for his. Uh, Sticks that that you can use, but uh, this uh, to be honest with you, this wire right here, this fucking sucks. It broke on me, unfortunately, so I can't show that. But I can show you in the pictures. This happened right after I took one picture with it, but yeah. So moving that out of the way, we have a second. We have like a, a separate back piece because with this. You can put you with this, you can uh, take this piece out and place it with this. Now, I did watch uh, Anime and Heroes review on the figure, and uh, he said, and what he said basically, be very careful because this piece can be very easy to break and uh, be hard to unattach as well. So, for those that have this main figure, I recommend be gentle with this piece, not try to break it off very really quickly because that could, because this can, this. If this does not come off your figure, and it, and if this piece is stuck to it, well, I'm sorry. Did I, I'm sorry, but uh, you have you have to deal with this piece for now on, on your broken nightmare figure. So, be gentle with this piece and not try to break it off with, with like a freaking hammer on it. Basically, I'm trying to say do not manhandle this piece. We had two of his sticks. Oh boy, Nightwing. The Grace's main weapon. I love these things so much. Here we have his second. Ooh. Here we have his second head. And now for be honest with you, Chief, I did not use this head scope in any of the pictures because I only used this one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this head scope. This has goes really good. This is the type of face you not want. This is the type of face you not want to do it when Dick Grayson is mad at Bruce. Because let's be honest, Dick Grayson does have a. Dick Grayson does have a hate boner, for for Bruce after all the years Bruce treated him dirty as Robin. Well, well, in, well, in the TNBA in the TNBA series he does. So here we have his open hands. For like for a simple shot, if you want Nightwing to do like his, if, if you want Nightwing to do like his, his boxer, his boxing pose, you kind of say, you'll be like, oh wait, oh wait, you'll be like, oh wait, put them up, boys, <laughs> then like this, bah. <laughs> I love this figure. Oh my goodness, I love this thing to death. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Oh, this guy's so good. What the heck? Okay, okay, okay. We have his open palm hands. We have his grab hands, you can say. We have his, we, we have like his, his hands for his, well, for his, uh, for his batons. Oh, my computer went off. We have his surfer hands. Not nah, kidding. 
these are the karate chop hands. And best for not where the heck, oh, there it is. I'm about to say, where the heck is that last piece? Come on, come on, get up. And best for last, we have, we have these pieces. Oh, pff, okay. I love these because Nightwing does throw around with his uh, batons a lot. And uh, this is a cool feature they add to the figure. And I, I really appreciate that Medicon. Medicon, that's real. That's actually some really good stuff right there. What the freak? Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. It's so good, dude. What? What the fuck? What the fuck, man? It's so fucking good. Excuse my lane rape. I'm just so happy about this guy. Oh my goodness. So, now, now that we did his, like, accessory, let's go on to the size comparison. And it's like, and I, I, I'll be honest with you, I don't have that, I don't have many Mayfex. I, I only have, like, what, five, and that's it. But just for this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare him to all the Mayfex Hush figures I have for now. I do have Planet Game, Harley Quinn, Joker, Poison Ivy, and Hush, eventually. I'm definitely getting that Riddler. And the Scarecrow. So, anyway... Here he is with the with the blue cape Batman. And here he is with Ralph Huntress, who who I will be doing for my next review. Oh, he's standing so good with that, I'm not gonna lie. This is this is very really good. Hey Mayfax! Hey Maricon, where's Robin? Give me Tim Drake! Because Tim Drake played like a little bit of a important role in the in the Hush comic. So I want that outfit. And here is and here is my favorite here's my favorite Batman figure, the black cape version. Because well to be honest, he's he's way better than the blue cape. Just saying. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you. This Nightwing works way better with the black cape version because I don't know, dude. I get a comic book vibe. Oh, well, duh. I get like a comic book, but also a uh, DCAU vibe with these colors and suits. And I love it. Be yeah, yeah, just to be, yeah, yeah, but yeah. But yeah, uh, this Batman, this black cape Batman works way better with this Batman than the blue cape version, in my opinion. And speaking of, and uh, speaking of opinions... <laughs> here we have the mid Farland. Uh, here we have the mid Farland. <laughs> Gotham Knight Batman. Oh god, this figure. Well, me Nightwing. Sorry, this figure is trash to be honest. Because my god, he was just a placeholder until like I get a good Nightwing figure. And, uh, well, I could put I could put this fucker in the trash now. So bum bum voyage. Here he is with the SA figures coming alive. I will be doing my review on live, so do not worry about that. And here he is with the SA figures Super Saiyan Vegeta. All right. So, what are my thoughts? Overall, so overall, if you like Nightwing and if you love the Nightwing comics like I do, even though I don't read a lot of comics, <laughs> expose, Bukasatu expose, he hates comics. I don't hate comics. I'm just busy with like other stuff. I'm working. I'm just busy with other stuff. So I don't have, I don't have like, uh, I'm busy with like other stuff in IRL, so I just don't have I just don't have like time to read comics, unfortunately. So, calm down. I don't hate comics, people. I like comics. I just fin we I just fin find I just finished this morning reading the whole comic series for Ultimate Spider Man. Damn, that was emotional as hell to read. So anyway, back on the saying, what are my thoughts on this figure? Well, if you love Nightwing, like I do, and uh, if you want like 
and if you want like a if, nah, and if you want like a definitive Nightwing figure that isn't like McFarlane because that figure McFarlane figure and Nightwing are the best because they all just unfortunately have the same articulation. If you want like a good Nightwing figure, this guy is this guy should go to. This guy should go to. This guy should go to. Good articulation. He can pose pretty well. And uh, there are so many pictures you could think about him doing with Batman. I mean, I mean, like fighting pictures. Or hell, you could recreate comic. You could recreate comic book covers with this figure. He's really, he's really freaking good. He's in my top 10 for this year for figures of 2023. Mayflex killed it with this guy. And as a DC lover... I am completely satisfied, and I'm buying all the figures for the hush line for sure. Oh man, I just gotta go pre-order. I just gotta go freaking pre-order the Nightfall Bay now. I mean, I don't even ever get the chance. But I'm gonna wait till like a few of my pre-order for this month end. But uh, yeah, this guy's really good. I had not made picking him up. We had the chance. He, he is. He is retail price. I mean, like, he's only 100 bucks on Big Bad Toy Store, but I pay around 100 bucks on Amazon for my free shipping, too. <laughs> because, they, because they have, like, a lot of stock. But overall, just go get the... If you're, if you're like, a Nightwing fan or a Batman fan, hell, or a Teen Titans fan, go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. You need it. You need the Grayson. Because I guarantee you... I'm going to say next year, they're going to make a Mayfax Hush Robin. That could be Tim Drake. And, uh, you need Nightwing to go with Tim Drake. Because two Robins in the Bat family, that goes so hard. And yes, I know. There, yes, I know. There's four Robins in the Bat family. But I'm talking about the four. But I'm going to talk about the Hush story itself. Two Robins in the Bat family, that goes hard. That goes hard. But yeah, thanks y'all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media description and follow my Twitch account. I'll be, I will be streaming tonight around six o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and we will, we will be playing Batman. Ar we will be playing. We, I will be streaming uh, Batman: The Return of Arkham series, Arkham City, and uh, Arkham Knight as well. And uh, I will I will, I will I will be doing the challenge mode and uh, sometimes free roaming as well. That's that's tonight. That happened tonight around six o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I put the description. I put my Twitch link in the description. Twitch.tv slash Bookasat15. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Please join the picture. My name's Aaron, and I'm out. But hey, yo, no lie. Next next figure review is gonna be a Mayfix Hunter cut. Oh boy, I got a lot to say about that figure. But yeah, guys. Enjoy, but yeah, guys, enjoy the pictures. I'm out. Bye. All right, so the so I'm ending the video right now, and I'm, I'm I just posing like this, and uh, God damn it, God damn it, God God fucking damn it, Mayfest, you guys killed over this guy. He's really good. Make Robin, you cowards! Hell, make a Batgirl, even though she wasn't even though she wasn't in the hush story, but I I wouldn't mind just saying. But uh, yeah, this this figure is really good.